good day to all of our graduates. Christ is amongst us. He is and always shall be. It's a pleasure for me and for Archbishop Daniel with me to greet all of our graduates. Uh, we're graduating some from high school, some from college, and maybe from other programs as well. But we greet you and, and pray that the Lord will bless you in whatever endeavors you embark upon in the days and the years ahead. Uh, we call upon you to remember that the this is a time when you, whether it be from high school or college, it's it's a new beginning for you, a time when you enter a new period in your in your life, especially from high school when you begin to realize that you're taking complete responsibility for your life, and that mommy and daddy aren't going to be there to wake you up in the morning and to ask you if your homework is done or whatever. Uh, so, so it's 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 important to to take the time to sit down and think about uh, things like that, and I think. It's a perfect time because in two days we'll be selling, celebrating Pentecost when the, when the Holy Spirit came, descended upon the apostles and, and, and inspired them with the grace of God and, and making them understand everything that the Lord taught them. And uh, it's a time for you to take hold of the grace that you have received also, to open yourself up to that grace, to open your heart and your mind and your soul to that grace, to enable you to make the decisions that are good for you and not only for you, but for those around you on a daily basis. And that's, that's key that you need to remember in your life at all times. Every choice you make, every single day, every minute, affects not only you, but the people you love, the people who care for you, and the people that you work with, or fellow students, whoever they may be. Христос посеред нас. Вітаю усіх вас, дорогі випускники і парафіян нашої Української Православної Церкви, а особливо тих, котрі закінчили вже навчальні заклади, чи то школи, чи то університети, чи коледжі, немає різниці. Перед вами розпочинається новий життєвий шлях. Ви стоїте на роздоріжжі життя і мусите взяти відповідальність за ті всі життєві кроки, котрі ви від сьогоднішнього дня робитимете. Хтось стане лікарем, хтось стане вчителем, Хтось буде працювати на якійсь роботі, і ви всі робитимете щось унікальне у житті світової спільноти. Для нас, як єпископів нашої Української Православної Церкви в Сполучених Штатах Америки, надзвичайно приємно є вас привітати, тому що ми гордимося вашими досягненнями. Перед нами тут цілий список хлопців, дівчат, юнаків, котрі закінчили навчальні заклади. Ми гордимося тим, що в наших парафіях є молоді люди, такі як і ви, які стараються досягнути щось в житті здобути нових навиків, а тепер йти у світ і ділитися тими навиками, якими вас Господь обдарував. Перед нами сьогодні є оці два прапори. Прапор Сполучених Штатів Америки і прапор України. Два прапори, котрі символізують нашу приналежність. Ми живемо тут, в Сполучених Штатах Америки, але ми також всі маємо коріння з України. Ми духовно єднаємося сьогодні всіма вашими друзями, рідними, братами і сестрами, з нашими батьками, родичами, котрі живуть в Україні і переносять у цю агресію супроти українського народу, яку здійснює Російська Федерація. Дивлячись на цю агресію, дивлячись на цей злочин, який чиниться супроти людства, це і є новим викликом для вас, наступного покоління випускників навчальних закладів. Ви працюватимете і служитимете у світі, котрий інколи чинить злочини. Світ, котрий інколи перевертає норму суспільства, до котрої ми вже звикли жити. Отож, будьте відповідальними, шануйте людське життя і пильнуйте ті слова чи ті кроки, котрі ви чините у своєму житті, бо вони можуть мати надзвичайно важливий вплив на життя інших людей. But I wanted, to tell, I wanted to say to you all that, that the greatest weapon that you have in life to protect you from, from anything that's going on around you in this earthly existence is your prayer, is your ability and your willingness to turn to God in prayer, to ask for His guidance, to ask for His uh, uh, guidance in making those decisions that we're talking about, the choices that we're talking about. And I pray that one of the prayers that you offer frequently is for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. As Bishop highlighted, we have the flags of both Ukraine and the United States here. We pray that you don't forget who you are. We pray that you don't get so busy with everything else in life that you turn your back on who you are, what you are, 
and the people that need your prayers. And perhaps you don't think that people need, need your prayers, but believe me, they're all around you every single moment of the day. And that prayer is the best weapon you have to protect yourself. Anytime you feel that you're about to stray, anytime you feel you're about to pass judgment, or whatever sinful action, simply, Lord have mercy on me, a sinner, could be the very thing that keeps you safe. It keeps you in the fold and in, in relationship with God. So now what we'd like to take the time to, to greet each and every one of the graduates whose names we have here and were submitted to us. We, we, we thought we'd have uh, more, but, and, but maybe next year we'll get more and more from parishes all over the country. So we'd like to go through these, these uh, list of names and to greet each one of you personally and to thank the Lord for the, uh, giving us the blessing of you in our lives and in the life of our Holy Church. So, Lydia, would you like to start? So, I would like to begin by congratulating Victoria Swindle from our protection of the Holy Virgin Mary, uh, Ukrainian Orthodox Parish in Arnold, Pennsylvania. Uh, Victoria uh, graduated from the University of Pittsburgh, and she was awarded Master's in Library and Information Science. From St. Peter and Paul <coughs> Parish in Carnegie, Pennsylvania, Maxim Chervatyuk. He's planning to attend Kent State University with a double, double major in music composition. And then from St. Nicholas Ukrainian Orthodox Parish in Charlottesville, Virginia, we have Gregory Brogan, and he graduated from high school, and now he is attending Savannah College of Art and Design. And from Holy Assumption of the Virgin Mary Parish in Northampton, Pennsylvania, Gabriel Savrinsky, he, from uh, graduating from Northampton High School and attending Wilkes-Barre University in the fall to study pharmacy. And then we have also from the same parish from Northampton, Pennsylvania, Justin Ost. Uh, he graduated from Parkland High School and planning to attend University of Scranton in the fall. And from the cathedral in Parma, Ohio, St. Vladimir, we have Sofia Dobronos graduating from the Ohio State University, magna cum laude. And with a Bachelor's of Science and uh, Health and Rehabilitation science, uh, Sciences. And then we have also from St. Vladimir Parish, Matthew Paul Greaves. He graduated from the Ohio State University, Bachelor of Science in Ecological Engineering. That's a quite interesting yes, degree. Yes, and much needed today. Yes. And also from Parma, Jonathan Stephen Greaves, graduating from John Carroll University, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and minor in Business and Mathematics. And then we have Bohdana Komichak, also from St. Vladimir Parish Cathedral in Parma, Ohio. She graduated Georgetown University, Washington, D.C., Master of Professional Studies in Design Management and Communications. And also again from uh, the, the parish in Parma, Oris Mahlai, the son of Dika, her brother Dika Nihor Mahlai, he graduated from Georgetown University with a BA in Political Economy. And then we have Logan Rochak, uh, graduated from Braxville Broadview Heights High School, planning to attend Kent State University, double major in music composition and animation game design. I can just imagine how many kids would love his Maybe degree stack. because he'll be developing all kinds of uh, right. games for children. Maybe we'll buy some and play it. No, I'm not playing games. Anna, Anna Totachenko, also from St. Vladimir's in Parma. <laughs> graduated from Normandy High School, and she will be attending Cuyahoga Community College to study the Veterinary Technician Program. That's a favorite for me. And now from St. Vladimir, another St. Vladimir Cathedral, this time is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We have Michael San Antonio, who graduated from a high school and moving to a college to get his bachelor's degree. And also from Philadelphia, Natalie Hritzai, who is the national president of the Junior Ukrainian Orthodox League, She's graduating high school and about to attend the University of Pittsburgh. And now we have Sofia Holubovsky from St. Vladimir Parish in Philadelphia. She graduated high school and is attending Cornell University. And also from Philadelphia, uh, Peter uh, I'm uh, sorry, Peter Peltikis graduating from high school and and moving into interning at the Philadelphia Academy uh, Charter High School. 
And now we have from St. Michael, Holy Archangel Michael, Ukrainian Orthodox Parish in Scranton, Pennsylvania, Rachel Harenza. She's graduate, he said she's an honor student graduating from Seton Catholic Central High School and planning to attend SUNY University, Broome Campus, and majoring in social work and counseling. And from St. Luke Parish in Warners, New York, that's right up by Syracuse, Daniel Colas, graduating from West Genesee High School, and he's still determining what he's going to do after that. And from Holy Resurrection Mission in Waynesville, North Carolina, we have Warren Perkins, graduating from Hart County High School um, and is planning to attend the University of Georgia College of Education, all the way in the South. And he is the son of Father Anthony Perkins. Very true. And from the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary Orthodox Church in South Plainfield, New Jersey, Shannon Marinich was graduating from Middletown South High School here in New Jersey. We are so proud of every single one of you. And we, 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 we are, our prayers will always be that you decide to make something of yourself in the name of God. Doesn't mean you have to get up and preach on a, on a soapbox uh, about your, your personal faith, but the, that you are a person of God, a person blessed by our Lord. Uh, I, think that, I think that you've all had blessings from our Lord over the past few years because what, what you've all been through in terms of a normal high school and college education has been totally different from what so many generations before you have. You suffered through the, the pandemic. You suffered through the, the online classes, the inability to gather together with your, with your classmates, the inability to socialize, the inability to make new friends throughout those years. So we see you all as very special people and, and pray that the Lord will uh, that the Lord has even fortified you and made you stronger because of that. Count on his blessings. Count on that grace uh, for the, every moment of the future of your life. Ну і на закінчення, знову ж таки, вітаючи вас, хочу повторити слова високопресвященнішого митрополита Антонія. Він згадав, що найпотужнішою річчю чи зброєю, яку ми маємо в руках в нашому житті, це наша молитва. Пам'ятайте, навчальні заклади дали вам академічні навики. Навчальні заклади дали вам життєві навики, як працювати, що робити, як дати собі раду в житті. Але наш духовний навчальний заклад, наша церква, священники в наших парафіях, ваші батьки, тато, мама, бабця, дідусь, родичі, вони були тими вчителями життя, котрі вчили вас молитися, вчили вас плекати свою віру. Отож, ідучи тепер у світ, в навчальні заклади, чи починати, будете починати працювати, не забувайте про молитву. Не забувайте про той фундамент, який заклали тато з мамою, священники нашої церкви. Владика митрополит Антоній, попереднє наше духовенство. Будуйте своє життя на засадах віри, на засадах моралі, на засадах добра. А Господь, бачите ваше добре серце, благословлятиме вас і дасть вам успіх у всіх ваших життєвих намаганнях. Отож, много я всім вам літа. May God bless you. For many blessed years. God bless you and keep you for many blessed years. You're in our prayers. And please pray for us also. God bless you all.